Hi. After having their spacecraft damaged, a crew of space rangers must survive on a hostile planet while manufacturing a new energy source that will allow them to return home. Today we'll recap the story of the 2022 movie, Lightyear. In 1995, a boy named Andy got a Buzz Lightyear as a birthday present. This toy was a character from his favorite movie, and now we will know the stories of that movie. 4.2 million light years from Earth, the Star Command exploration ship CE-01 travels through unknown space. The ship's sensors detect potential life forms on an unexplored planet, so Buzz Lightyear and Alicia Hawthorne, the commander, decide to take a detour to investigate the place. The Space Ranger is responsible for doing the initial analysis and assessing whether it is worth waking the rest of the crew from cryogenic sleep. However, as Lightyear and Hawthorne clear the new planet, giant roots spread out around the ship. In order to increase the team, the commander brings a space cadet to accompany them even though Buzz doesn't like working with rookies, as he believes they are just an unnecessary burden. However, seeing Featheringhamstan's joy-filled eyes, the Space Ranger agrees to take him along to continue the mission. Minutes later, while Lightyear and Hawthorne are distracted, the cadet is captured by the same roots that wrap the ship. Then the duo manages to detect the threat and, in addition to being chased by the giant root, dozens of mutated flying insects start attacking them. As they run back to the ship, they activate the invisibility of their suits in an attempt to buy time. However, the effect does not last long, and the duo must fight off the creatures chasing them. When they finally reach the ship, Lightyear spots Featheringhamstan struggling to survive outside and decides to go outside to help him. But due to a miscalculation, the Space Ranger loses his gun and also ends up being captured. With Hawthorne's help, he retrieves his weapon and manages to get rid of the roots together with the rookie. When they return to the ship, Lightyear goes to the control room to try to save his crew from that hostile planet, but at the moment of emergency takeoff, they have an accident. Minutes after the collision, all the crew members need to be awakened and Buzz feels responsible for that disaster. When he discovers that the hypervelocity crystal had been totally destroyed, he asks the commander, who is also his best friend, to arrest him for condemning his colleagues to be stranded on that planet. However, the woman assures him that they will be able to complete the mission and asks Buzz to help her command the creation of a new crystal that will take them back home. The big problem is that crystal fusion is very unstable, so several tests will be needed before using the new crystal as a power source for the ship. So Lightyear applies to be the pilot who will risk his own life to test the new experiment. A year has passed since the incident that left the entire crew isolated on the planet, until the group finally manages to use the vast resources of that place to form a new hyperspeed crystal. So Lightyear gets ready to fly a ship and do the first stability test of the crystal. Despite human efforts to protect themselves from the hostile creatures, every now and then someone is attacked by the giant roots that are spread to every corner of the planet. Before Buzz enters the ship, one of the engineers hands him his Ivan, a space autopilot that will guide him during his flight on the XL-01. After getting the fuel, the Space Ranger gets into the ship and starts the flight. After launch, Ivan gives the coordinates and informs him that Lightyear's mission is to accelerate through deep space, go around the nearest star, and pass through the deceleration rings. All this in just 4 minutes and 28 seconds. The mission begins and the hyperspeed crystal is activated. Buzz gradually increases the speed to test the stability of the energy source, but when he reaches 80% of hyperspeed, the crystal destabilizes and an engine failure occurs. As a consequence, the aircraft suffers a change in trajectory. Failure to correct the course will result in loss of the deceleration rings and certain death. As such, the only chance of survival is to eject, but Lightyear has the idea of running the engines to maximum in order to detonate the fuel cell. The impact of the explosion causes the ship to return to the correct trajectory and Buzz makes it through the deceleration rings. After completing the mission, Lightyear returns to base and all his colleagues are surprised to see him. When he finds Hawthorne, the ranger discovers that he has been away for four long years. This difference happened due to time dilation. As Buzz reached hyperspeed, his time became slower than the rest of the crew. During the mission, he aged only a few minutes while his colleagues aged years. This means that the faster he flies, the farther into the future the trip will be. Although Hawthorne believes that the best decision is to stop the trips until he discovers something new, Lightyear insists on finishing the mission. That day, he finds out that his friend got engaged during the time he was away. The woman promises that soon Buzz will meet her future wife. Having just arrived back from a long trip, it was time for the Space Ranger to rest. When he enters his room, he finds Socks, a robot cat that has been sent in order to facilitate the ranger's emotional recovery. After they talk for a few minutes, Lightyear decides to go have his space food for dinner, and then goes straight to bed. That night, he has nightmares about the day he condemned his partners to be stranded on that planet. 
The next morning, he gets up determined to try, once again, to complete his mission. Sox asks what he can do to help, and Buzz challenges him to find a way to stabilize the ship's fuel. Before leaving for yet another new time travel, Lightyear and Hawthorne say goodbye with their secret touch as they recite the phrase, to infinity and beyond. Again, Buzz is unsuccessful, and the hyperspeed crystal is not stable. This time, when he meets his commander again, the woman is pregnant. This situation goes on for a few years. Every time Lightyear comes home from a trip, her friend is living a new stage of her life. While he remains young, his entire crew ages. When Buzz arrives from his last trip and enters Hawthorne's living room, he finds only a taped message that his friend left for him. In the video, the woman tells him that she is sick and probably won't be alive when he arrives home from his trip. She reveals that she misses being a space ranger and traveling through space, but most of all she misses Buzz. During the video, Izzy, Alicia's granddaughter, enters the room and states that when she grows up, she will also become a space ranger. Finally, Hawthorne says goodbye to his friend and asks forgiveness for not being there when he completes the mission. Just then, the new commander, Cal Burnside, enters the room and reveals that, during his childhood, he was a fan of Buzz Lightyear. He takes the opportunity to break the news that the crew has decided to abort the mission and settle on that planet. There was even a team already working on developing a laser shield whose purpose is to protect humans from the menacing creatures that inhabit that place. However, Lightyear disapproves of the idea of giving up the mission. He is still hopeful that he will be able to find a way to stabilize the crystal so that everyone could return to Earth. When he arrives in his room, Sox reveals that he has good news. The robot has spent the last 62 years studying a way to make the fuel stable, and after all this time has finally found a combination that will allow the humans to return home. Minutes later, two agents show up and reveal that they are there to take the robot cat for security purposes. So Buzz takes the carrier box and asks for a few minutes to say goodbye to his friend. But instead, the man takes the robot and jumps out the window. Together, they make their way to the launch station. After manufacturing a hyperspeed crystal following the new formula developed by Sox, the duo sneak into the ship and begin their next journey into space. Two agents of the security team try to stop them, but Lightyear, with the help of his cat, manages to take off in time. This time, the Space Ranger manages to achieve 100% hyperspeed and the fuel remains stable. This means that he has completed the mission and now everyone could return to Earth. When he returns to base, Buzz finds the laser shield that Burnside had planned to build and ends up having to make an emergency landing in a remote part of the planet. The Space Ranger sends up a flare and waits while his crew shows up to rescue him. However, Lightyear is surprised by the arrival of a mysterious person who is wearing a strange costume and knocks the man down to avoid detection by a colossal robot walking by. Suddenly, the creature puts a saucer on the ship and they both disappear. Upon seeing this, Buzz becomes desperate and the mysterious person reveals that they have been transported to Zerg ship that flies over that place. Minutes later, a missile is sent and the duo escapes. While hiding, the girl removes her helmet and reveals her true identity. That's Izzy, Alicia Hawthorne's granddaughter. At that point, Sox reveals that on their last trip, they were out for 22 years as they reached maximum hyperspeed. The young woman tells how, a few years ago, Zerg ship arrived and robots surrounded the base. To try to protect the residents, the commander ordered the laser shield to be activated, and now everyone was trapped inside the base. Izzy then decides to take Buzz to meet her team. She assures him that she has a plan and all she needs to put it into practice is a pilot. When they arrive at the girls' HQ, Lightyear meets the rest of the group and believes them to be elite space rangers, just like his late friend. Together, they devise a new plan. Buzz claims that the solution to all problems is to put in that hyperspeed crystal he used on his last trip in the Star Command exploration ship CE-01. To do this, they will need to get through the protective barrier, which will only be deactivated when Zerg ship is destroyed. Therefore, the first stage of the mission is to eliminate the alien robots. As they prepare to begin the operation, a robot invades the site and captures Buzz. The creature uses a teleportation device to return to the ship, but Izzy and Sox manage to stop it. The rest of the team also tries to intervene, but at this point Lightyear discovers that they are all just inexperienced cadets. After a few unsuccessful attempts, Mo manages to hit the harpoon into the device and prevent Buzz from being taken away. However, the robot is still standing and ready to fight. Lightyear manages to rip off the creature's arm, and Mo lands a shot to the monster's head. Despite his success in the battle, Buzz refuses to work with the inexperienced recruits and says he will do the job alone. However, the Space Ranger needs a spaceship to invade Zerg's ship, and the nearest warehouse is 4 kilometers from that place. Therefore, Izzy and his team make themselves available to take him there. Minutes after they leave, the robot gets up and goes after them. When they arrive at the warehouse, 
Buzz asks the trio to return to HQ, as he will go on alone from then on. Inside, he finds the old spacesuits he used to wear, and after putting on, he realizes that Izzy and her friends are there. Instead of following Buzz's directions, the group decided to follow him. Mo drops the car key and sets off the alarm. With the noise, hundreds of creatures appear and start chasing them. They try to come up with a plan to get out of the place and Izzy suggests they use the invisible mode of the suit to get through without being seen. Lightyear manages to get fuel into the ship before the stealth mode time runs out, but the rest of the team doesn't know about the time limit for using that feature and ends up getting stuck in the middle of the way. Now that the animals can see them, the trio is in danger again and Mo pulls the ejection lever. As he does so, his suit turns into a giant raspberry and they manage to make their way to the ship. Buzz immediately starts the engine to take off and the whole group manages to escape from that place alive. During their flight, they are attacked by a Zerg ship and must make an emergency landing to evade the enemy. While Buzz tries to repair the ship, which has been damaged due to the impact with the surface, Izzy suggests that they walk to the nearest facility to get the materials needed to do the repair of the spacecraft. Minutes after breaking into the facility, Sox manages to find the part they were needing. However, before they can return to the ship, Mo accidentally activates the security system and the group is trapped by capture cones. After being stuck for a few minutes, they come up with the idea of teaming up to push hard enough to destroy the control panel. In this way, the team is freed to continue the mission. However, the destruction of the panel causes a large explosion and part of the facility is destroyed. While everyone flees to safety, Buzz runs to retrieve the piece of the ship and almost falls off the cliff. However, the man is saved once again by the recruits, whom he despised so much. From that moment on, Lightyear begins to recognize the value of teamwork. While they take a break for a space snack, Buzz realizes that something is wrong. Instead of one slice of meat being wrapped around two slices of bread, the format was inverted. Apparently, the concept of the sandwich has been updated in the last 100 years. On the way back to the ship, the group is surprised by a robot even more menacing than those who chased them earlier. Lightyear then realizes that the creature is only after him and asks his friends to return to the ship while he distracts the enemy. The space ranger tries to escape from the threat, but ends up being cornered. He is then surprised to discover that the monster knows his name, and instead of attacking him, he invites Buzz to the ship. However, the recruits appear and attack the robot. They then dig a hole in the rock to escape. At that moment, the colossal robot summons his troops to help him hunt down Buzz Lightyear. When they arrive at the ship, Sox reveals that he will need five minutes to install the missing part. Meanwhile, they decide to hover, in an attempt to make themselves unreachable to the robots. However, what no one knew is that those creatures can fly and they continue the chase. While Mo and Darby blast those monsters, Buzz and Izzy take care of navigation. Minutes later, Sox finishes repairing the machine and the ship is ready to fly, but Izzy makes a mistake and ends up ejecting the fuel out. The girl tries to recover the crystal, but one of the robots manages to steal it and teleports with the fuel to the Zerg ship. In the face of this, Buzz gives up the mission and accepts his defeat. Suddenly, the Alpha robot appears and captures the Space Ranger, who is also teleported to the enemy's ship. When he gets there, Lightyear discovers that the head of the whole operation is himself, 50 years older. While they were talking, Sox, who is also 50 years older and quite damaged, asks the elderly Buzz to explain to the young Buzz his plan. At this point, Lightyear discovers that his older self has also tested hyperspeed, but unlike him, when he arrived at the base, the old man was received as a criminal for stealing the ship, and Commander Burnside ordered the guards to arrest him. So Buzz escaped and went as far away as possible, as fast as he could. In this way, he traveled centuries into the future and found a world full of unimaginable technologies. That's when he realized that if he could use the crystal to travel into the future, why couldn't he use it to go back to the past and stop his ship from ending up on that planet? In this way, he could ensure that the entire crew returned home safely and would be able to see his friend again. However, while testing time travel, his hypervelocity crystal was destroyed, so the man needs the fuel of his younger self. However, the new Buzz cannot allow this to happen because if they go back in time, Alicia will never meet her wife and they will never have Izzy as their granddaughter. Everything that his friend and the other rangers built on that planet will cease to exist and many people will never have been born. So Buzz decides to leave with his crystal, but the old man is determined to go through with his plan, and to do so, he is willing to destroy his other self. While thinking of a way to save his friend, Izzy asks the entire team to board the ship and activates the teleportation device that one of the robots had launched. In this way, everyone is sent to Zerg ship. When the elderly Buzz is about to erase everything built by his crewmates, Sox throws a tranquilizer around his neck and manages to stop him. The robot reveals that he prefers the new Buzz and helps him escape. 
Meanwhile, Izzy and her team board the ship and go off in search of their friend. Lightyear finds Ivan and asks the device to activate the self-destruct of that ship in two minutes. Just then, the robot commander appears and attacks Buzz. Izzy and Socks appear soon after and help Buzz get rid of the enemy. The trio teleports back to the ship while the old man tries to stop the countdown. When all the team members are on board, Lightyear tries to put the fuel back into the ship, but it explodes and everyone is sent into space. The space ranger then hitches a ride on a small ship that is floating, but Zerg attacks the vehicle and steals the crystal. Just as he was about to be destroyed, Buzz ejects himself out of the ship and shoots the fuel that was in Zerg's hands. This action causes a huge explosion, capable of destroying that cruel villain. Lightyear then flies toward the aircraft where his friends are and tries to stop it from falling. However, the vehicle is extremely heavy and is falling at a very high speed. So Izzy asks her friend to stabilize the ship while she and the rest of the team try to make an emergency landing. Working together, the group manages to land safely and all get out of that operation unharmed. However, the mission is a failure and the crystal is destroyed. Now Buzz will have to learn to live on that planet, just as all his colleagues did. Minutes later, Commander Burnside shows up with some guards and takes them all back to the base. Despite all of Lightyear's infractions, the man did not intend to put him in prison. Instead, he gives him the opportunity to start a new troop of Space Rangers, the Universe Protection Division. The commander then presents his best agents and asks Buzz to choose his team. However, the Space Ranger states that he already has his own team and decides to continue the space missions alongside his new friends. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.